Hello everyone, just a quick video for you guys today. I was practicing Rococo before and I noticed how much I use this technique of finger substitution and for two very different outcomes. One's for technical reasons, to get places faster and without shifting and another one uh, for expressive reasons. And I wanted to show you a couple examples. Uh, maybe you can incorporate this to your technique if you're not doing it. And if you are doing it, maybe also makes you, you know, rethink a few, a few spots in your repertoire. For example, for technical reasons, in the theme uh, of, of the variations, instead of playing to have that shift. This is just an example of thousands in, in, the, in the piece or in any piece. Um, to get closer to the sol, which is a shift away, it's a bit, it's a bit stupid actually to, to, to play like this, um, these fingerings, but it happens very often in pieces if we don't notice. I try to get closer to in, in this case by just doing this finger substitution. you can use this for expressive reasons in this case. Um, I use it also as much as I can. Uh, Baren Boeing once told me that you should never play, never of course, um, the same note, the same repeated note, twice with the same finger. He says this sounds very boring and he has a point. Um, an example within the third variation um, Instead of playing, which sounds very standard. So if you want to add an extra layer of expression and romanticism, you just change the finger. You know, it's quite, it's, let's say, an advanced technique. You don't see uh, low-level players using this technique because you know you have enough to worry of, and finally you have one note that you don't have to do anything so so you see this kind of fingering and sometimes we carry on these fingers from when we were younger or less um, you know advanced uh, into later years and we really don't have to and we shouldn't so maybe this uh, video gives you a tip of really think your fingerings and your pieces how to add maybe more cleanness in some spots and in some others more expression, like in this case, a little exercise that you can do to, to work on this if you want, besides uh, using it in your repertoire, which I think is the best way. Um, you can just work on, you know, pick a note and shift fingers through the note. First clean and then and then with a bit more expression. The most important thing about this is to always make it sound identical, no? If you make it sound when you change the note, if you, when you change the finger out of tune or a different, slightly different intonation, then the whole point of this technique is, is, is lost, no? So, in any case, I think very interesting technique. I just wanted to make a quick video uh, while I was practicing. I was like, oh, I shouldn't forget um, to talk about this. And I hope it's interesting for you guys. I'm gonna keep practicing and I hope you do too. Happy practicing, see you in the next one.